Yeah, there's no steering wheel in the tent. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about that, but I sure like all the all the room that I have. Because I can touch the window there, but I can't touch it with my heel. Now I'm not super tall, so that's good for me, but uh, I know. Couldn't blow off last night. Not because of the combine, but uh, I was on the phone and there's some important phone calls and I couldn't take it, so I'm like, well, looks like I'm just gonna kick off and ain't getting blown tonight, boys. So, but uh, we got about 450 acres of chickpeas, which is nothing really uh, <laughs> for this many combines. And then we have to blow off and clean off and do all that fun stuff, so. So this thing comes down. Comes down, gets out of your way. You can adjust it. With however you want to do it. So everything is on this joystick that was on your console. So you got your signal lights here and there. And then when your thresher's engaged, you can turn on your side light this side, side light this side. Under here, you have your, your uh, headlights, your horn, and then your auto steer and gauge. And of course, everything is the exact same on this side. Nothing's really changed, nothing's different. Yeah, yeah, steering wheel. Oh yeah, I can engage this. Got to hold it for three seconds. There we go. Done. All right. That's, that's my combine over there as well. Uh, Jared is running that one now. Dude, he is combineless. And then Ashton's is down there. She has a different type of Faith Hope Farms flag with a different logo and stuff because I actually have two. Just jump up pop this thing up and you can pop that up while you're going by the way so you just have all this room you can stretch out and put your feet up over there if you would like to or whatever you want to do so for that reason I really like the joystick do we need to work on a few things maybe yeah yeah but this is just a pre-release but uh, right now I'm really digging the joystick uh, in the field oh yeah I probably should mention that if you turn this and you pop it back to neutral your uh, tires go back to neutral. Your steer tires at the back. Oh, we got a bit of a washout coming in. Slow down a little bit here. Um, so if I want to go this way, then I can start turning, pop it back, then my tires go to neutral, go this way, pop it back, then my tires go back to neutral. So at least that's really good. All right. We're taking this shaking wagon back to the corner over here so that way we can blow off. It's, it's not that bad. It's like I just I just never knew that I needed a bra before. <laughs> uh, too far, Mike. But no, seriously, uh, uh, don't buy tracks. Uh, at least not for. Tracks are not meant for our country. Our ground is too hard and our spacing is too wide. Like before, we're just going to do some blow. and you're cutting on the ground, you're always in the dirt. That's hard on stuff. That's hard on sections, it dulls them out. You can get rocks here. So this, let's talk about the honeybee for a second because um, we haven't really done that. This is a gigantic transition plate. Now, when you're in lentils, you will love this transition plate. Lentils are kind of wiry, they just screw right up the transition plate, no big deal. Um, chickpeas, if you're in a good crop of chickpeas, you'll again love the transition plate. Uh, the depth of this transition plate is a love-hate relationship. Um, you're going to love it in some things, you're going to hate it in other things. How are you going to hate it? Well, if you get yourself into a thin crop of cereals, maybe it's tough, maybe it's green, maybe it's sticky. It just sticks on here and then you have trouble getting it up. You've got to adjust your reel to brush this transition plate in order to get it up onto your canvases here. Um, but the great thing about the transition plate is it typically stops all your big rocks. It takes a lot of rocks, to, you know, it takes a quite a bit of... I don't know what I'm trying to say here. English, come on, Mike. You got this, buddy. You, you got this, buddy. We've had rocks this big on this transition plate because it hasn't got up this transition plate. So this transition plate eliminates a lot of rocks. We're about to get dusted out. I am not happy about that, but I'll live. So then, any little stuff, if you really clean off some dirt and manages to get up there, 
uh, it will fall into the pre-rock trap. Now, honeybee push put this, they call it a beer. This is supposed to help feed cereals, uh, wheat and derm, you guys. But let me just tell you, when you're in pulses, take this thing off, throw it away. You're not going to use it. It's terrible. The reason why is because it no longer saves your rocks in here. Um, it just makes sure that your rocks get to the canvas, in which in then turn, you'll suck it into your combine. So, the reason why we haven't taken this off, because we're basically done pulses. We just picked up this header on loan from Honeybee. Thank you very much, Honeybee. And uh, we didn't really feel the need to take it off because we're going to go right back in the cereals. But, in saying that, you can dump this. There it is. Whew. Make sure you park right for the wind. Don't be an idiot like me. I derp a lot. 